I'm not clear on something about the argument that a lot of these people are having about student loan debt, especially the people who went to school for a very, very long time. So you get things like double masters and double PhDs and things like that and got themselves into more debt than most people end up in for home loans um, that didn't go to school like that. Because from my perspective, it's very difficult to take a piece of paper, whether it be a little teeny tiny one like this, or one that's like the actual full diploma size, you know, that's a little more placemat size. You know, it could be a food handler's card for that matter at that point. And to stand and use it for shelter. I'm not too sure what the argument is there for all those people. I'm not, I don't, I don't really get that argument because they get pissed off. Like, like we're just supposed to write off their debt or something. But then the people who actually just went, you know, I think I'd rather have an actual home that I take care of myself than scream at other people because I thought that a piece of paper was going to, you know, keep me protected from the elements. I, I, th that's the part I don't understand. I don't understand this argument because... At some point, you have to look at how much it costs and go, hmm, either I can afford it or I cannot. So this is the part that's weird. And there's the other part where people go, they start school and then they drop out knowing they took out a bunch of student loans, but they still are obligated to pay them back. So it's like if you can get into college, you probably understand math just a little bit. Whether you're an art major, a humanities major, or an actual engineering major. Like, th this, this is the thing that I don't understand about this argument. I've joked about it, and I've actually just said it blatantly. Like, I guess these people just didn't understand the concept of unsecured versus secured debt, right? Like, they just, they just didn't think that it was the same. Like, that they took out a student loan, and then it was just like, they'd, they'd never have to pay it back. I understand the concept of a loan. The, like the piece of paper they could be like never mind I don't want it I just I don't want people to know I'm smart or something like that's like the weird part like why did you why did you bother why did you bother going and, and saying any of that stuff and in writing and then and then tell people well I just don't want it just repossess it like you want them to repossess your mind that's what you, you want them to repossess your mind and years and years of your life because is that what they want they want someone to repossess their mind because if it's someone's home or their car or stuff they purchased with a loan, it gets repossessed or they go bankrupt and then there's something else that happens. Right? So what's this, what's the actual argument behind getting student loan written off? You know, like, oh, the government's good. Oh, never mind. But what's about the rest of these people? Because if you end up going bankrupt and you can't pay your, your home loan, um, a lot of those people end up homeless. I mean, that's for real. So what happens to these people who get their student loans written off um, by the government? Like they, they want the government bailout like they're a corporation, but they don't actually understand what that implies for every, to everybody else. What is that? And if they're going to get it reimbursed from some other entity, what do they owe that other entity? What do they actually owe that other entity? What's the agreement there? 